Hi, and welcome to At Home Art Lessons with the Art Groupies, where we develop great art habits. We're going to be going on a field trip with this groupie. Her name is Wanda. Wanda realizes that there is more than just art in the art world. It's not just about creating. It's about making connections with the art of other cultures and to find personal meaning and inspiration. We're going to go to the country of Africa on our field trip and we're going to meet up with this woman. Her name is Jane Goodall and she was one of the first people in the world to go out and study chimpanzees in the wild. She studied them and didn't come in contact with them for months. So for months she stayed in the jungles of Africa waiting and finally she came across a chimpanzee who took a banana out of her hand gently and the rest is history. His name I think was David Greybeard was the chimpanzee that came in contact with her first and then after that the rest of the group joined in. So this is Jane Goodall. She is a scientist and an explorer. We're going to be inspired by her chimpanzees and we're going to create them using lines which will turn into shapes to create our chimpanzee. I'm going to start with using just an oil pastel. I'm going to create my chimpanzee on a brown shade of paper. I'm going to start with just creating two dots and I'm going to do that at the top of the paper. I'm going to do the letter M above the two dots which are the eyes and the eyebrows. I'm then going to make two vertical lines that are parallel underneath the eyes. They're going to be for our chimpanzee's nostrils. I'm going to draw a circle around them for the snout and then a line going across for our chimpanzee's mouth. I'm going to then create the chimpanzee's head by making not a complete circle but an oval with a little bit of a indentation to it. I'm going to draw two circles or I should say um, two letter U's or C's however you want to look at it and then an inner one for the ears. I'm going to give my chimpanzee a forehead or I guess a hairline I'm then going to use the simple shape of an oval again for his belly. I'm going to put one arm for my chimpanzee above his head like he's swinging from those branches that you would see in the movie Tarzan. I'm going to make his hands by just making one shape for his fingers and then a smaller shape for his Thumb, and I'm going to do a zigzag line because his um, hands or his paws don't really have fur on them. So I'm going to show my texture that way. The next arm I think I'm going to have just coming down. And again, that zigzag line for the hairline. I'm going to follow that line back up. Again, I'm just going to kind of make the letter J, I guess, for his hand and then a thumb. I'm going to make his legs, kind of making his um, feet the same way. They really use their big toe like a thumb. Draw on his next leg coming down. Again his feet his thumb. So voila, there's my chimpanzee. I'm then going to give him some texture with my brown oil pastel. I'm going to press hard because I'm going to use that watercolor technique called uh, oil pastel resist, which I'm going to just do a nice little wash for his fur with a black watercolor not going to be too concerned with anything except for just a light wash. 
So there we have my chimpanzees finished. I'm going to take my paintbrush and some black watercolor paint and again just wash over the shapes of my chimpanzee. Not going to touch his face, his ears, or his hands or feet because they're going to be left that nice brown color. And again for the fur on his legs. And I'll do the fur up here on his forehead or his hairline. There we go. So there is my chimpanzee. I'm going to set him aside and let him dry. It's much easier to cut him out when he's dry. So I'll set that aside. So now we're going to make the texture for our background. So we're going to give our chimpanzee a really cool tree and some vines to hang from. So while that chimpanzee is drying, I think I'm going to use just the side of my paper for his tree. And I'm going to, I think, cut into it to make a letter V, or letter Y rather. I cut into it with the letter V and made it a Y. And I'm going to cut some different tints and shades of green to make my background. And I'm just going to paint with my, or draw with my scissors by just cutting out a very simple shape. And then I'll cut out another just right on the edge, just like so. And I'm going to overlap these pieces to make it look like the tree leaves are overlapping. I saw one of my students did this with a bird and Alex just inspired me to create a layered look. I like the way his wings on his bird looked. So I thought, oh, that'd be a great idea to create some different foliage for my tree for the forest of my chimpanzee. I also just cut out some very simple shapes to add some foliage. And then I also um, thought about Ooh, well, my chimpanzee is going to hang from a vine. I have his arm stretched over top, so that would be cool. So now that my chimpanzee is dry, I'm going to go ahead and take my time and cut him out. My scissors are always pointing away. And if I went out of lines when I was painting my chimpanzee with that that wash, no worries, I can just cut that out like it was never there. I'm going to use my other helper hand to move my chimpanzee around as I cut to make things a little easier. Now Jane Goodall was amazing and she also used her research to save the chimpanzees and educate um, the world on how they used different tools like branches and rocks to help them get food like termites and smash things um, to make it easier for eating and at that point um, America and all the other countries like Great Britain just thought humans used tools, not realizing that animals, like the chimpanzee, use them. So she really educated the world and, and asked for their help to save them when their habitat started to 
um, not be protected. So Jane Goodall was more than just a scientist. She helped save the chimpanzees and educate the world. So just like Wanda, who knows that there's more to art than just creating, Jane Goodall knew that there was more than just exploring and watching the chimps, but to help them and save them. So there's my chimp. I can add some more leaves in the background. I can cut more of this brown paper that I just used to make the chimp to create some vines. Have them come down here and be a part of the tree. I can add some more leaves for the background to make this look more realistic. I can also use my oil pastel to give some texture to the bark of the tree. So again, we're taking a nice little field trip to the country of Africa, Tanzanian to be Tanzania to be exact, to where Jane went out and explored and got to meet the chimpanzees. So here's another one that I created. I hope you have fun learning about Jane Goodall and her study of chimp chimpanzees and how she saved them. Thanks for joining me on your field trip to Africa and I hope you had fun.